Welcome to The Breakdown. I'm your host, Diane Rember, avid reader, award-winning literary blogger, and the founder of Diamonds Literary World, which is my footprint in the literary industry. Today, I want to talk to you about a book that has completely, completely um, swept me away. It, it took me back to um, my first love, when I first fell in love with reading. Um, we're talking about The Book of Harlan by Bernice L. McFadden. Um, this book is the first book that I've read by Miss McFadden. Definitely not the last. As a matter of fact, um, not only did I download another book, Finding Amos, um, I'm on my way to the post office now to go pick up um, a box with a couple of other books that I found of hers and so the next video will probably be of me unboxing books so that you can you can see the treasures that I found Miss McFadden took me back to a time um, if you if you know my story you know that I fell in love with reading um, in the seventh grade I had a teacher who introduced me to Langston Hughes Claude Brown Richard Wright Alex Haley uh, Perry Thomas, Maya Angelou, Alice Walker. This book, the author and the way that she writes, oh my goodness, it just reminded me of why I fell in love with reading. The Book of Harlan by Bernice L. McFadden. Um... The book starts off um, in Georgia. It starts off with Harlan's grandparents um, who come together. They marry. Um, it tells you the individual stories. Um, carries on to the parents who then marry and have baby Harlan. Um, now, I, I, I don't want to give the book away. All I want you to know, this book may start off in Macon, Georgia, um, but it goes through Harlem, New York. Um, it also goes to Paris, France. It, it, it goes, um, it comes back and it goes to Trenton, New Jersey um, and ends up in Brooklyn, New York. It, I could not put the book down. It, it, it For me, it was an easy read because I felt like the more I turned the page is the more I got caught up in the Renaissance era, the more I got caught up in a time period that I didn't know too much about. Um, and I will just give this little brief little bit away. Um, when I tell you I learned so much. For one, I personally did not know that there were blacks that were um, enslaved in concentration camps um, when Germany um, invaded France. I, I had no clue. Um, and, and the book talks about that. And so I, in the middle of the night, I'm just in awe. I'm in awe of her writing style. I'm in awe of the characters and, and, and how they have the ability, especially Harlan, who keeps getting caught up in situations. And no matter how much he wants to give up, God sees something different. And he keeps him. And he allows him to survive because there was work yet for him to do. And Harlan got caught up in some crazy situations. Um, I don't think some of us would have been able to survive. You know, he went to jail, he went to prison, he was in a concentration camp. Uh, I don't want to give the book away. I really don't. I want to encourage everyone, please go out and pick up the book of Harlan. Now, um... I'm not quite sure who introduced me um, to the Book of Harlan and Miss Bernice McFadden. I think it was Kiara Northington. Um, but what made me actually pick the book up at this time 
Um, it was the book of the month from a Facebook reading group, Nubian Book Nook, started by Dr. Ian Smith. If you know him from Celebrity Fit Club and numerous other reality shows, as well as Miss Cynthia Bailey from Real Housewives of Atlanta. So if you would like to um, be a part of the book club um, and join us in reading our book of the month, and, and they, you know, recommend some other books, please go on over to Facebook, um, also Twitter and Instagram. So, um, and I thank them, whoever, whoever chose this book as the book of the month, I thank them. I also want to tell you guys that I have an upcoming interview with Miss um, McFadden on next Friday. So I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Um, that will be February 23rd, 2018 um, over on Diamonds World. So if you can, please join us. Um, I, I have a bunch of questions um, because, again, this book just totally, totally, totally blew me away. Definitely a five-star. Definitely a page-turner for me. But, again, you know, my reading style, my reading taste may not be the same as someone else's, so they may not feel the same way I do. But I'm very passionate about this book. Um, and I highly recommend that you go and pick it up, as well as anything else by Miss McFadden. Like I said, I'm on my way to the post office so that I can um, figure out what other jewels I have in store. I want to make mention the fact that this book, um, The Book of Harlan, serves as one of my Blackout 2018 books. Um, also, my Goodreads Challenge. Uh, Black History Month Challenge for Diamonds World, as well as um, on my new author goals. Miss McFadden is new to me. Um, as well as on my TBR list, because I've had the book, I want to say, for maybe um, half a year. So, so, I've completed all of those challenges with this one book. And so, you know, it, maybe it's something that could help contribute to whatever goals and challenges that you have for this year. So as I always tell you, thank you so much for your support. Thank you for watching the video. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. If you have not done so, please feel free to click the subscribe button now and tell a friend. Don't forget, um, go on over to Nubian Book Nook and join the book club. Until next time, be blessed and happy reading.